For most of my life, I only had a very broad understanding of cancer. I mean, we all know it's a disease. I knew that it often shows up in tumors on the body, from cells that somehow grow uncontrollably. I was also aware of chemotherapy, where drugs are used to treat cancer. I knew that chemotherapy is grueling and has a bunch of negative side effects. And I knew that cancer kills thousands of people each year. It's a serious disease with serious consequences. It wasn't until recently that I finally asked myself, what exactly is cancer? So I took the liberty to Google this question where I came across this definition by the National Cancer Institute. A term for diseases in which abnormal cells divide without control and invade nearby tissues. And with that little sentence, I learned two things that totally changed my whole perspective on cancer. One, cancer refers to several diseases. I mean, I always thought cancer was just like one thing. In the media, it's often referred to as such. Cancer always sounded like this one giant monster disease spreading across the world in this deadly pandemic. <laughs> it's not. Cancer is actually a broad term for a whole bunch of diseases. There are dozens of different types of cancers that show up in different parts of the body. To make things even more complicated, every type of cancer works differently. They're caused by various factors and have different molecular mechanisms. So if cancer is just a whole bunch of different diseases, how are all these cancers related? Cancerous cells are abnormal cells that divide without control. To understand how cancerous cells are abnormal, first we have to understand what normal cells are like. Cells divide through a process known as mitosis, where they replicate their DNA and divide into two. Normal cells don't divide infinitely, though. Normal body cells stop dividing after a certain number of generations, usually around 50 or 60 times, where the cells will then commit apoptosis, cell suicide. This whole process is called senescence. Normal cells are also able to regulate how often they divide. Cells send signals to each other as they duplicate. They'll slow down if it gets too crowded and speed up if more cells are needed. Cancer cells do not do this. Cancer cells don't obey senescence. They are, in a sense, immortal. They completely ignore signals urging them to commit suicide, allowing them to keep it growing. No matter how crowded it gets, cancer cells will keep dividing over and over again. If they have enough nutrients, they'll keep dividing forever. This is what causes those dangerous tumors. And that, generally speaking, is how all cancers are alike. So, why haven't we found a cure yet? We always hear all this talk about finding that cure for cancer. But the problem is that cancer can't be solved with a single treatment because they're all so different and work in complex ways. For example, The most common form of cancer, basal cell carcinoma, is usually caused by sunlight. Ultraviolet rays from the sun cause random genetic mutations in the cell, mutations that often lead to malignant growth, which is why people who tan are more likely to develop skin cancer. Whoa. Well, at the moment we have things like chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery as the standard for cancer treatment. However, these treatments are very generalized. Chemo and radiation in particular are designed to kill any rapidly dividing cell in the body. While this includes cancer cells, this also includes hair cells, blood cells, and stomach cells, which is why we get side effects like hair loss, suppressed immune system, and nausea. And because we're simply killing the cells by brute force, not attacking them at the root of the cause, the cancer cells will often come back to grow again. <laughs> A true cure would have to be tailored to the specific type of cancer. This means that each cancer would need its own specialized research, uncovering the causes and mechanisms of the disease. Hmm. Even if we do that, treatment can still be tricky. Each patient responds differently to cancer therapy. Each case is different. Sometimes, a single tumor can contain multiple forms of cancer. There is no magic bullet that can cure cancer. Even so, we are learning more about cancer every day. As we learn more about how these cancers work, we can also learn how to fight it. New cancer drugs and therapies are constantly being tested and released to the public. And cancer awareness is spreading. It's spread to you just from you watching this video. So I hope that with this video, you're at least a little bit closer to understanding what exactly cancer is. If you want to know more, I've included links to the American Cancer Society, National Cancer Institute, and the American Institute for Cancer Research in the description below. Thanks for watching!